Oh, I just crashed on this scooter, guys. Right here. I was doing 31 miles an hour. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. I finally got the High Boy Titan Pro scooter out and ready to do a full review on this high performance all terrain scooter man and this thing is fast it does 32 miles an hour believe it or not look how small it is this is my very first time ever riding an electric scooter so this is going to be an experience that i'm sharing with you guys for the very first time and this thing does 32 miles an hour 40 mile range it has a 48 volt 17 and a half amp hour lithium battery it's got dual 1200 watt dc motor single-sided swing arm uh, tubeless off-road tires, dual suspension. It's got these awesome rims. You don't have to worry about any uh, objects getting caught in there. 20 by 10 inch uh, deck here, metal foot plate. You can actually control um, one to two motors with this single and dual switch here. Um, it has a thumb throttle. It's got uh, front and rear lights, LED lights. And actually, the rear light is a modulating brake tail light, which is awesome. You don't really see that too often on these scooters. It's keyed here. You got the multi-function LCD display. Three speed levels that you can control through this. Speed. It's got total distance. Um, you can, from my understanding, has cruise control even. Mechanical disc brakes. It's got dual shocks. Wow, look at the clearance here on this scooter, guys. You can take this off-road, and I'm going to do that. Because, you know, I'm all about off-road riding, and I love this because this is a dual-sport scoot. Just like I love dual-sport motorcycles, I hope we'll see how I like dual-sport scooters. So let's get to testing this thing and see what it can do. By the way, I have a link to get this scooter in the description and comment section of this video. And you can use the code CYCLECRUISER and get $100 off. You know, I see so many people on these high performance scooters that when they crash and they're not wearing gear, they have a real effed up day and get messed up, especially when they don't wear a full face helmet. They go head first and they end up deformed because their face gets bashed in on the ground. I'm telling you guys, make sure you're wearing the full gear on these high performance scooters. And I have links to this awesome CE armor jacket that's awesome in the summertime, flows a ton of air. It's got all the CE armor protection and back, everything. Uh, ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with the automatic tent shield. Uh, gloves, pants. I have links to all my gear in the description and comment section of this video. First off, I'm going to test and see how fast it is. Uh, they claim 32 miles an hour. We'll see. First time riding an electric scooter, guys. Here we go. Bam. Oh, man. <laughs> you hear it peel out. Oh, my gosh. This is going uphill, by the way. This thing is quick, man. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm like I'm float flying in the air. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got what 30 31 I got it at 31 miles per hour. That is fast for this this little thing. <laughs> this thing is sick, man! Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Man, no wonder you guys are going crazy buying these things. These things are uh, so fun. Now let's see what it can do off-road. See if it could take this here. This smaller hill going up here. Oh, man. <laughs> Dang, boy. This torque just busted a wheelie up on me, man. Let's try it again. Yeah, it took that hill like nothing. It's riding in the grass off road here like nothing. This, <laughs> this is like I'm surfing off road, dude. Oh, don't have an after day. Don't want to endo off this thing. <laughs> hey, it made it over everything. It's like I'm surfing, man. Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you a con is this cheap fender here. I'll probably just take that sucker off man. Check it out. We're at the airport here Cleveland Hopkins Airport And there is a road here that is really steep and I'm gonna see if this scooter can go up the hill Supposedly this scooter can take an incline of up to 35 degrees Woo! These brakes are good, baby. I love these brakes. Let's see if we can take this steep hill So far, I'm really impressed with this scooter <laughs> This thing is so fun, man 
I can't believe all these years I've been missing out. I'm telling you, it's like I'm surfing, man. <laughs> all right, it's taking it in. Look at it. All right, all right, it's taking this hill. All right, and this is a really steep road. You get, This video doesn't do justice. Took it no problem, guys, no problem. Wow, I'm amazed. This, this scooter is so sick, dude. Hey, man, I can ride this thing anywhere, dude. I can ride the bike paths. I can ride this dirt trail. I've never rode this dirt trail. Let's go ahead and ride this dirt trail and see where this goes. All right. Always keep your knees bent and be ready to take a spill. <laughs> be wearing that gear, man. You definitely want to be wearing that gear. I think this is a, could be a horse bridle trail. So I hope I don't ride in horse crap. <laughs> But I've never actually been on this, so this is all new. I guess this is, could be a hiking trail, too. All right. <laughs> this is pretty sick, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you guys, I am not messing around, guys. I'm not trying to promote this. If this were junk, guys, I wouldn't even do a video. First off, if it were junk, I would send it back and say, man, I'm not wasting my time. Um, and I turn down companies 98% of the time that want to send stuff. But when it looks like it's fun, I'm like, go ahead and send it, baby. Send it. We're going to have some fun and provide some content and make sure to give a discount to my viewers. You get $100 off if you use Cycle Cruiser. But it's taking in. I'm really impressed with the off-road performance of this scooter, guys. Uh, I'm telling you, this thing is actually more fun than the e-bikes. Because it takes off faster than the e-bikes. Oh, and you can slow it down. Of course, it has the three speeds, but I like full balls to the wall power. So I'm digging this. Look at that beautiful view. You got the creek here in the metro parks, baby. Yeah. Now let's switch to the uh, the bike path. This thing is so sick, guys. Oh my gosh, this thing just cooks, man. <laughs> I could ride this out here on the street and keep up with cars, dude. This thing is so sick. <laughs> and then I can check this out. I can go ride here on the bike pass. Boom. Check it out. Don't have to deal with cars. The only thing you got to deal with pedestrians. And the drawback with this scooter, your e-scooter, it doesn't have a horn though. So I can't alert people ahead of me uh, to avoid hitting them. So I have to yell at them. So I would have to add a horn of some sort. So you got to be careful pedestrians here. This thing is so sick. <laughs> Dude, you, everybody should get one of these. No wonder these things are so popular everywhere, man. Especially in Europe. Like, everybody's got this thing. Woo! About to run into a bicycle, baby. They better stick to the lane, proper lane. Heads up. Yeah, America. <laughs> Look at that dude running around with a flag. American flag, man. Patriotic. <laughs> Check this. this. This is so sick, dude. I'm telling you, man. This is so fun, guys. I want to give the fact. This is, to me, doing 32 miles an hour is was is exciting. So I can't, let alone doing 100. Some of these do like over 100 miles an hour, guys. They act, my cousin, actually, he's a professional motorcycle racer now. He actually has raced these scooter, electric scooters before. It's like I'm surfing, man. It's kind of like a skateboard with a with a handlebar. Now, that's pretty much what it is. I know some of you guys are like cycle cruiser. You should get a get one of them electric skateboards. I'd rather have this. I want something to hold on to going this fast, dude. <laughs> Even though you could do a face plant with this if you 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 hit something, but that's why you gotta wear the full gear, full face helmet, man. There's been guy people out there that hit a curb with this and went head first into the corn curb. And busted their jaw wide open. What's up, dude? I feel like a teenage ninja turtle out here, dude. Kawabunga! <laughs> man, you can ride around all day on this thing, man. This is sick. Wish this bar were a little taller, cause I'm like six foot here. So it's like, I wish it were just a couple of inches taller, but it's great for you shorter riders out there. And you'll be fine if you're six foot like me. It's okay, but I just wish it was a little taller. Let's go act a fool up here and see if we can take this hill here. 
Okay, probably can. Let's see. Look at that. Boom! Top of the hill, baby! <laughs> yeah! This is freaking... <laughs> this is sick, man! Just go anywhere, dude! <laughs> oh my gosh! Woo! This is fun, man! But I just crashed on this scooter, guys. Right here. I was doing 31 miles an hour on this and uh, at the last second I caught the cone I paid it I saw the I was probably about right here and I ejected myself off of the scooter and caught myself and uh, man I'm telling you <laughs> jumping off at 31 miles an hour guys oh uh, thank thank goodness I had these boots full boots on I would have definitely twisted my ankle man they're feeling kind of sore now, but I'm lucky to get back up. And luckily I had, I got CE armor in my uh, my pants here because I did go down. Um, I jumped off, skidded, and I went down. Um, luckily I had my CE armor on and uh, my gloves and, of course, these pants and everything. That's how I told you guys. I'm telling you, these e-scooters could set you up for an up day if you're not fully geared up. And be careful, cautious. Because this right here, even though these tires and the clearances is, is nice on the scooter, this is a bit too big for it. <laughs> and uh, too bad I didn't catch it on camera, man, so you guys could see. But I only have so, many, so much battery power. I've been riding all day and filming all day. And uh, I didn't... Oh, my goodness. Let's see if it still works. All right. Hey. Hey, it still works, man. Oh my gosh, what can I say? This High Boy Titan Pro is legit. The fast starts, man, the torque off the line on this little thing is just amazing. I'm telling you, doing 31 miles an hour on this little scooter, it's just, it feels like you're blazing, like you're flying through the air. Like I said, I can't imagine you go through any faster, but as far as doing the conclusion review on this after riding this, half the day i can't really get a good gauge of um i haven't run out of battery power yet but i'm going to keep riding it and i'll give you an update but um the number one thing that's kind of there's several cons obviously the pros speak for themselves you've seen in this video um it's quick it's torquey off the line you can ride it off road you can ride it anywhere um the cons okay the cons here uh first off this display even though you have the the power on um it'll cut off if you're not using the scooter and I, I was counting on it keeping track of the mileage that i was doing on this another thing that i don't like is these grips these hard grips are very fatiguing on long rides now if you have proper now i'm just wearing mountain bike uh gloves here but i would i should have brought my shorty leather gloves which i have links to if you want to get but they have actually cushion um, so, but I would, I'm gonna probably put new grips on here that, that are cushion gel type grips or something so it's more comfortable. And also, if you're a taller rider like me, I'm six foot, is that the bar is, it's kind of low here. It's, it's all right. It's adequate. Don't get me wrong, but I wish you're a little bit taller where you can adjust it, um, for taller riders. This single and dual motor where you can switch from one to mo two motors, which I haven't done, uh, cause I want full power, but I wish it were backlit so you know what it's on. Even though I know it's on full power because I verified the GPS at 31 miles per hour. The brakes are very adequate. You don't need hydraulic brakes with this, which I thought maybe you would. Mechanical brakes work just fine. I like this. This deck is, is wide, nice and wide. It's grippy. It's got grip on there. You don't have to worry about sliding off. Um, the single-sided swing arms make it look really cool. The rims, I love the rims that are solid like that. And you don't have to worry about anything getting stuck in there, like a branch or something, and ejecting you. <laughs> you end up having a real effed up day. This kind of loosen up. You may want to put some Loctite on this here. Um, this kind of locks the stem here. Because um, this, I just turned it. It wasn't fully tightened. It was tight, but not fully tightened. So um, you may want to put a little uh, blue thread locker on there. Um, but it was okay. I didn't have any problems. It didn't come disengaged or anything. Uh, overall, I have to say, man... This is a most eye-opening and amazing experience that I've had. I know I'm late to the game. 
they rent these scooters which are not as cool as this uh downtown cleveland and then big cities all over you know you see them on the sides of the road where you can rent them and stuff and i see people having fun but the the number one problem i see is that so many riders don't wear gear and this is not something that you you're going to want to at least wear a full face helmet or some type of helmet that's got a chin bar there so that if you ever do go face forward that you don't face plant and end up with a busted jaw eye or anything else and be end up dis disfigured because it's happened go look it up guys seriously and you definitely want to i would definitely get a ce armor jacket like this which i have a link to in the description and comment section of this video but this is mesh it flows air it's eight like 86 degrees out right now and i'm not hot at all um it's mesh but it's got all the protection here on the back definitely wear some knee guards uh i highly recommend wearing some uh textile motorcycle pants or whatever type of pants that's what i have on right here um i have links to these as well um this has vents where you can open up and it flows lots of air definitely probably want to think about wearing some dual sport boots if you're going to ride off road here guys because it's easy to put take your foot off and twist your ankle or something um or end up with some a lot of these people end up with shin problems if they crash and they don't have proper uh boots on so i may look stupid out here on this e-scooter wearing all this gear i don't care i want to stay safe i don't want to have an effed up day hospital bills are extremely expensive guys okay so i'm gonna go ahead and screw this off here and uh you don't have to totally screw it off but see then it bends down here and you can leave this on now i wish this had a hook or something here um, it doesn't have a hook make sure i cut that power off i wish it hooked to the body so that when you you could lift it by the bar but you can't so uh 61.7 pounds not the lightest scooter but that it's got the bigger battery so it's going to give you the better range okay put it in there as you see here i charge this e-scooter with my solar system in my bug out van so I get free energy, hey, cheap transportation, and super fun transportation at that. Make sure to hit thumbs up. It really helps this video. And hit the subscribe button. And hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos release. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 1130 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm getting ready to go have some more fun on this scooter, dude. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.